Easy DCP Player 3 can load external subtitles to an already rendered package, in order to preview all content together. Using drag and drop, we can add an external subtitle to the package. Of course, this is just a temporary add-on in our project without any influence on the package structure. In order to distinguish external subtitles from regular ones, they are displayed in italics in the playlist editor. It is important to notice that only one external subtitle file has been added. But when dropping them onto a composition with several reels, the software automatically separates the external source into two or more subtitles files based on the reel lengths. Instead of adding an external subtitle to a composition, it is also possible to add them to a reel. In this case, no separation is carried out. Entries behind the real length are simply not displayed. But let's switch back to the first example. It is even possible to add more than one external subtitle file. Therefore, we add two external subtitles to our package. Again, the software automatically splits the external sources for us at the real boundaries. It is now possible to switch between the subtitles during playback. Likewise, all subtitles can be rendered simultaneously, or simply switched off. To make the distinction between multiple subtitle tracks easier, each track can be colorized. It is also possible to change the position of a certain subtitle track, so the tracks that would normally overlap, can be viewed side by side. Both settings can be modified in the subtitle inspectors. By default, each inspector inherits the subtitle display settings from the video canvas. Here, both subtitles are displayed in each inspector. By deselecting the option, Tracks, same as Canvas, in each inspector, this behavior can be changed. Now we choose one language track in each inspector. As we know from the other subtitle tutorial, we can use the inspectors to find certain subtitle entries. But here we would like to override the vertical alignment of a certain subtitle track so that our tracks don't overlap anymore. Please note, that the subtitle itself is not actually changed. Once we click the right mouse button within one of the subtitle inspectors, we get the following context menu. As you can see, the green subtitle track is now displayed above the red one, so we can easily compare all subtitle entries.